This is a video that I have wanted to make for over 20 years, probably closer to 30. <laughs> this is a way uh, to fix leaks. Now, in some regard, this is um, shooting ourselves in the foot because a lot of the parts we sell um, are meant to fix leaks, but I'm going to show you a way to fix a lot of leaks. Uh, if it doesn't work, then you can buy the parts from us, but this is going to work for probably 80% of the people out there. Okay, right, here's the situation. You've got irrigation, you've got a hot tub, you've got something, and it's dripping. Uh, and you've tried all sorts of things like slapping some glue on it and some silicone and all that stuff. That doesn't work. If you put anything other than PVC glue on the joint, then your only solution is to cut it out. Like if you put silicone on it, forget it, this trick is not going to work. But if you just found the leak and you haven't attempted to fix it, I'm going to tell you how to fix a leak. All right, this represents pipe into a fitting. All right. Typically, the leak is going to be someplace along this joint, and it's just going to be dripping. Now, if you have it spraying out, this system is probably not going to work. However, if it's a drip or a fast drip, this system will probably work. And you got two situations. You either have, this is a suction line, or yeah, it's a pressure line. I guess the third situation it could be a gravity line, but gravity line is the same as a suction line. So you've got two situations, pressure and gravity. Okay, here's the easiest way, suction. If you have a leak on the suction side of your system, in other words, your pump is over here, this is the leak, here's your source, water goes this way. This is extremely easy to fix. All you do is you turn on the pump and you let it run. Then you take primer and you dab the primer all the way around here. And you will actually, if you're really observant, you will actually hear a slight change in the pump when you put the dauber right where the leak is. Because right now, it's sucking air in. It's really cool that if you had all the pipe was done in clear because you could see the little bubbles going across, but most people don't have clear plumbing. Uh, plumbing. So anyway, so what you do is you, you run the pump and you put your primer all the way around here. And when you hear a change in the pump sound, Sometimes you can actually hear it sucking air. If it's really bad, you'll actually hear it sucking air. When you put your dauber over it, you'll, it'll actually go quiet for a second or you hear that kind of sound. So then you say, okay, that's right where the leak is. Great. Pump's running, put your primer there. Then what you do is you take your glue, pump's still running, you put your glue over there. Then you go back and you hit it with the primer and then you hit it again with the glue. Let it run, just let the system run for at least an hour. Turn off the pump, check and see if it's dripping. Most of the time it will not drip. If it does drip, here's it's real simple. If it drips less, you can redo the process a number of times to get the leak fixed. But if it drips more or doesn't change it, that means you've got a crack or some really serious problem like deformed pipe and this system is not gonna work. This will work on suction. Now, how do you fix it if it's under pressure? Obviously this is not gonna work. Well, actually it's the same exact thing. Okay, here's what you do. You completely evacuate the system. You take all the water out of the system completely. I'm going to talk about a spa, but this the, the concept will work on anything. You have a spa, you got eight, nine, ten jets inside the spa, you got a pump, you got a suction. Let's say that this is the pipe coming out of the pump going to one of the jets. It's dripping water pretty fast when the system is running. When the system is turned off, there's no leak. Okay, so that's a leak under pressure. So here's what you do. You go around the spa or you go around your irrigation and you block off every single port, everything, you block them off. Now with a spa, it's real easy. All you need is um, tape, just masking tape will be enough, it's fine. Uh, packing tape, although I hate that stuff because it's hard to get off, but anyways, any tape, just tape right over the jets. All of them except for the one that's closest to the leak, right? So if your pump's here, here's your leak, you got jets all around the tub, block all those off and the one closest to your leak, leave open. Then you need to go to the suction. You need to tape off the suction as well. Then what do you do? You take a shop vac. You take a shop vac and you turn the shop vac on and you put it right up against the one jet that you didn't cover. What that's going to do is it's going to create a vacuum in this pipe. When that uh, shop vac is running, you just repeat the same process. It's sucking. You take your primer, you put it where your leak is, it'll suck the primer in. You take your glue, you follow it, take your primer, take your glue. Sometimes you have to do it two or three times. Now, there's some little bit of difference when you do it on the pressure side. Number one, your shop vac will burn up if you don't do this right because shop vacs cool based on the air going through them. So what you do is you have to have two people. Well, it helps to have two people. You have one person on the shop vac. They hold it up against the jet. It's going to create a suction in this pipe. You're going to put the primer on it. 
they're going to then take the uh, shop vac off so it lets some air going through here because when that's on there, there's no air going through here. It creates a vacuum. So the uh, shop vac overheats. So you take the uh, end of the shop vac away from the jet, let air go through it, 10, 15 seconds. Put it back on there, it creates a suction again, it pulls it in. Now, here's the trick. This is why it works. Most people simply take glue. The glue really doesn't seal it. Okay? What really seals it is the primer. You have to understand how this joint works. Primer actually softens the plastic. As a matter of fact, I've actually sealed joints with nothing but primer. I had no glue available, I had a can of primer, and it actually will work. Now, it doesn't work every time because you have to have a perfect fitting, you have to have perfect pipe, perfectly clear, a uh, clean pipe, and you have a perfect fitting. But you can actually seal this right here, like this, with primer only most of the time. The glue is actually secondary. <laughs> I don't, don't do that, but I'm just telling you, the, the actual seal is made by the primer because the primer is a solvent and it welds the plastic together. So what's happening is, when you put the primer in here, it sucks it in and it goes right to where the leak is. The reason you put the, the glue is because the primer acts as what's called a chase. It actually goes into the molecular level of the PVC fitting, the, pipe, the plastic, and then the glue follows it. It's a capillary action and it actually glues in there and then what happens is it dries and the glue cures and that's what makes it a solid fit, uh, joint. So in other words, if you did this just with primer only, it would seal, but then the moment somebody bumped it, it would probably leak again. But when you put the glue in there, that makes the seal final. So, take your vacuum, put it on the jet, or like the dogs go to an irrigation, imagine you have an irrigation system. Put plugs in all of the heads, okay? Take all your heads out, put plugs in all your heads, because it's kind of hard to tape over those heads, because they're usually dirty and tape won't stick. So you have to take them out, put plugs in. Go to the one head that as closest to your leak and put your shop vac right on it. Now a lot of times you'll have to use, um, depending on what you're doing, you'll have to use an adapter because a shop vac is usually kind of big or you can get the little one, but you might have to use an adapter to thread down into um, the head that's coming up out of the ground so that your shop vac will fit tight around it. You don't need a perfect seal, okay? Now you can take weather stripping put around here, you can take tape, it doesn't matter. All you need is just a little bit of vacuum. It doesn't have to be a perfect seal. And matter of fact, it doesn't matter how good your vacuum is, uh, matter of fact, the cheaper ones seem to work better. The ones that have a lot of suction sometimes suck the primer and glue in through too fast. So the cheaper vacuums actually work better in this situation. But the, the concept is the same. I have done this on um, probably thousands of leaks. This works on rigid PVC pipe, flexible pipe, it works on fittings, it works on almost anything. Uh, and there's another trick <laughs> uh, this, this works on. If you have a situation where you have threads, everybody knows PVC threads kind of suck because when... Whoops, sorry. Oh, wrong side. Here, okay. Anyways, I don't have the right fittings. But what happens is when you thread stuff in, okay? When you thread PVC fittings into another threaded um, fitting, you run the risk of it cracking. So what happens is we all thread it in, we thread it in, and we hope it doesn't leak. And then we find a leak, and then we crank it a little bit more. And the leak slows down, but it doesn't like, quite stop. So you have two choices. Either take it all apart completely, redo it with pipe, uh, dope, or tape, and then put it back together. Or, you can take the wrench and crank it a little more and risk cracking the fitting. Or, if you never think you're ever going to take this apart, all you got to do is smear some glue on it, use the evacuation system, using a vacuum or if it's on the suction side, and it'll suck that glue, the primer, right down into th the threads, and it will weld it, and it will never come apart, and it won't leak. Okay? Anyways, that's one way to fix a leak. Uh, I think I'll make a video for you guys just showing you that it actually does work, because a lot of people probably are not going to believe me. But... Uh, for you that will uh, take my word for it, this does work. Uh, you might have to try it a few times to get the hang of it, but it will solve your leads. Okay, this is Eric at FlexPVC.com. Thank you very much for watching.